Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association Induction Weekend 2022. Are you excited to be here? I'm very excited to be here. This has been a great weekend and I'm so happy to be here. I'm going to have you, if you could, introduce yourself and tell us about your history with music. Oh boy. Um, my name is Alan Morphew. I grew up in Northwest Iowa, so, so this place was kind of my stomping grounds when I was a kid. Um, after I grew up, moved out, moved out to Hollywood, Los Angeles, and tore it up out there for many years playing music. And I also uh, worked at a major recording studio for quite a while, so you don't get any of those stories. But um, <laughs> I'm back here in Iowa now and really loving it and really, really excited about being a part of the Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association. So you were inducted, was it last year? Yes, that's correct. Congratulations on that and kind of being a part of that legacy. Um, what advice would you have for people that are interested uh, in, in playing music and especially music in Iowa? Oh, wow. Um, never give up. Live your dreams. Love your life. Don't listen to the rejection experts because they don't know crap. Um, Listen to your heart, listen to yourself, and love your life and live your dreams. So do you play any instruments, uh, or do you sing, or what, what do you bring to music for your skills? I, I, I'm a singer. I, I, I identify as a singer, writer, producer, but doing those things means that I play a whole bunch of other instruments a little bit, enough to help out when needed, but I'm a singer, writer, producer. And so with these interviews that we've done today, we've, we've heard from a lot of musicians that are performers. I would love to know more about you as a songwriter and a producer. Tell us about that. Oh, man. Let's see. Well, um, tell us about that. Uh, How about like your process for writing a song? How does the, you know, does the inspiration come to you? When does that happen? How long does it take you to, to come up with something from start to finish? Like yeah. Oh, boy. Well, you know what? <laughs> to me, the best stuff is always the stuff that comes in a flash. And if you don't get it recorded or written down or something, get it in your iPhone or something immediately, it's gone forever. And that was the inspired moment. And that was the stuff that you're really searching for, the stuff that maybe has the potential to raise a few hairs on your arms, if possible. Um, the other parts of the song is what can take forever to fill in the blanks. I, I, I try to not let it do that anymore. I try to quickly move and finish things, like I'm trying to finish this sentence right now. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the, the inspired stuff, the stuff that comes from somewhere out in the ether and enters your brain or your consciousness, get it down right then and then build the rest of the song off that, because that's the good stuff. That's, you're looking to receive not create, you're looking to receive. So you had mentioned that you had worked at a record label and then with the production. When you were at the label, did you do production there or did you work in a different department? Actually, it was a recording studio, um, a recording studio in Hollywood and then later North Hollywood uh, called Track Record. And it was a major studio. While I was there, we, we worked on over 50 gold and platinum records, um, countless Billboard top 10 hits. And I did, I did some engineering and some of that stuff, but I was the studio manager. That was my steady income. And I just kind of got to be Al and got paid to be Al. And, and somehow it worked. Um, but yes, I did get to do some of the engineering. Um, I, in, in, I engineered for Tupac Shakur, um, which was really, really inspiring. Um, and punched in a couple notes on a Kiss album one time. Um, but mostly I was Al. I think Al is a good person to be. Uh, you know, so then you were working at the recording studio. How do you bring that back to Northwest Iowa? Do you record here in Iowa? And if you were a musician wanting to record, do you have to go to L.A. or can you record in Iowa? Yeah, yeah. When I was in the when I was in the recording industry, 
um, you had to have a lot of money to have a nice recording studio. And still, there are places like that still exist. They're, they're fewer and further between now because a lot of the home recording equipment, digital equipment that came in, um, I can own it now. Um, and other songwriters and other bands and performers can go ahead and own pretty decent sounding equipment and they can make pretty decent sounding product on their own, which really kind of did hurt the studios and a lot of the people whose careers were in the studios. But I think it's been really good uh, for, for the creative people that write the music and play the music uh, because they have been able to have gear on their own now and kind of have a pretty decent sounding studio right in their computer. It's not like the heyday, it's not like the good old days, but it's still some good, good sounding stuff and you can make good sounding recordings, so. Yeah, well, we appreciate all that you bring for the knowledge, you know, as a musician, as a songwriter, as a producer to Iowa and congratulations on last year's induction. 25 years, what does that mean to you for Iowa rock and roll? That's really a huge accomplishment. I, I can only imagine even what it takes to, to hold an organization like this to keep it rolling even for a year or two. But this is 25 years, and that's really a huge thing. And I know, I know a lot of the people that have been volunteers here for many years, and their heart's really in the right place. Everybody loves music. This is music lovers. This is, this is Iowa, the heartland, and music lovers coming together to keep this organization going and keep the love for music alive and support musicians and have a good time. I would agree. Theme is support live music, support music in Iowa. Alan, thank you so much. Or should I call you Al? Are you Al or Alan still? Uh, either way, yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for being here and sharing your story and your contributions to the legacy of Iowa rock and roll. Thank you, Jill.